Hello and welcome to the Blue Rapier train set from Hornby. Um, this is sort of a less detailed railroad version of the Class 395 Hitachi Javelin, which is also available from Hornby for somewhere in the range of 150 quid. Uh, in the Hitachi Javelin you get a power car, dummy car and two uh, standard open coaches. And it's pretty much the same in here, apart from the fact that you only get one coach. Now, the uh, in real life, the Hitachi Javelin has its uh, six car unit. Um, and you only get three here. So, you're going to have to buy a few more coaches just to get that up to the full six car unit. So, um, as I said, this is a less detailed version of the Hitachi Javelin. But it's still not a bad model. You see we've got window wipers on the front there. This light here and this light here light up blue LEDs and this one does not. It should do, but it doesn't. When I say it should do, it's not broken. It just, you know, on the proper model it should light up. Um, we've got pretty basic detail along the side here, actually. Not much. We've got, you know, the number 395021. Got some handrails there. They're sort of you know, you can feel the detail on there. Uh, detailing on the doors isn't great. We've got, you know, a couple of buttons there, but they're not coloured. I mean, you can paint them. A bit of yellow on there will do. Um, a bit of yellow down there actually is needed on these little things on the undercarriage. Uh, we've got a nice southeastern high speed on the livery there. Uh, the windows are blacked out. You can just see through them, and there's no seats in there. Um, that is it really, well, we're, no, we're actually on the roof, yeah, on the roof, we've got quite a nice, uh, fan there, and it's actually not too bad on the detailing on the roof, isn't too bad, we've actually got a pantograph, which is plastic, but it does actually raise up, like that, we've got that on both units, on the dummy car as well, it's pretty much exactly the same, and the lights do light up on the dummy car, so on the dummy car when it's coming towards you, these will light up, but there is no red tail lights on uh, any of the units. Um, because, you know, we have these pickups on, on the wheels here, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's a little copper when it focuses. If I turn the light on, there we go. You might be able to see the copper pickups on the wheels, just in there. That is uh, how the lights light up, basically. You've got the metal wheels, and then that takes power from the track and puts it to the lights, basically. So I'm going to turn the light off. It does look better, yes, but it wastes a lot of the battery power. So um, the wheels... Um, hmm. Right, the wheels. They are plastic, as you can see there. Uh, once it's running, you can't really tell, to be honest, but they are plastic, and you can change them, it is quite easy to change them. I have already done it, but I, you know, replaced them to pl the plastic ones for the process of this video. But, um, yeah, on the power car, they, they are sort of metal, with a plastic rim on the inside, when it, if it focuses. Don't know if it will. But you've got metal on the bottom, so it can pick up electricity from the track and then you've got there we go then we've got plastic on the inside and that's the same on the front as well so that that's a bit strange but I suppose you know it cuts down a lot of the cost um onto the coach then we have got quite nice detailing on the roof once again fans fans um it's pretty much the same we've got plastic wheels again you know uh, we have got Strange couplings, actually. It's a hook and eye, so there's an eye there and a hook there. And this works by... It's quite simple, really. So sort of that goes in there. And it's nice and strong, nice and tight, but not that realistic. But it's not too bad. It's, it's, a nice, it's quite a nice coupling mechanism, actually. It's quite easy to do. You know, you don't have to line up that much, but... Uh, so, you know, back to the coach, the windows once again are blacked out to match the units, the uh, power units. Um, now, as I said, this is a six car unit, so 
I went and bought another coach, like this. It's a railroad model, and it's a blue rapier, standard coach, Hitachi 395, R4438. Um, this was about £15, actually, and it is exactly the same as the one that you get in the set. Apart from the fact it's harder to get out of the box. There we go. Now, I must mention before I move on, actually, the, um... The three cars that you get, you also get some track, an oval track, a quite decent amount, and the new uh, controller, not the Elite or the other one, uh, the Select, it's an analogue controller. Uh, even though it says DCC ready on the Hornby website, it's not DCC ready. Um, you have to solder the chip in yourself. So I, they really should change that because it's quite confusing really. I knew it wasn't DCC ready, but um, so yeah, you have to solder the chip in yourself on both units, in fact, because there's lights on that one. So yeah, that's not too good. But um, so you get a track controller and a train. So it's a good starter set, you know, if you're just getting into the hobby. It's a really good starter set to start with, I suppose. So um, the coach, as I said, exactly the same as the one that you get. So now it's four cars instead of three. Um, that's about it, really. Anything else that I haven't covered? No, that's about it. So let's put on the track and see what she runs like. So just so you can see what she's like uh, as you would get it out of the box, I'm just going to put the three cars on first, and then I'll put the uh, full... Well, not full, but I'll put the other coach on, because it looks a lot better with four. So I do recommend buying an extra coach. You know, you don't have to buy six. Four it looks quite a decent amount. So uh, let's move her forward a bit. If she wants to go. Do you want to go? No. Oh, oh, that's backwards. That's not very good. There we go. Now, this was a second-hand model because I didn't want the track or the controller. Um, but it's never. I don't think it's ever been ran. It's just literally out of the box, just the three cars. Um, so, I haven't run in. Well, I have sort of, but not the complete running in. Like, half an hour in both directions. So, also the track is quite dirty. So, this may stop and start a bit, and not perform as well as it should. And I apologise for that. But, um, I'm sure you can, you know see what it's like. Now I've got to go and couple these up now. So now she's on the track. I'll just go and couple her up and uh, we'll get her running. Well that was a bit stupid of me. I put the coach the wrong way round because there's two eyes there and they won't couple will they? So I'm going to have to turn her around. It's quite hard with one camera in your hand but there's one and he's got to lift it up. You can't see that at all. There we go. You just got to lift them up and basically slot it in. Put this one in. There we go. Now, the plastic wheels means, you know, she doesn't make... It's out of focus. It's waiting. Anyway, she doesn't make, you know, that great sound. It shouldn't make the clackety-clack of most trains. But, um, it's quite a smooth run, actually. If you just look, she rolls quite well. Yeah, that's quite a nice movement there. Um, how am I going to do this with one hand? Like that. I'm a boss at this. Uh, so, anyway. There she is. Focus, as usual. There we go. Um, so, let's get her running. Now, before I start, I should mention that, um, you know, she, she didn't start moving until there. You know, and that's, you know, not a bad speed. It's juddery, so I'm going to get her going a bit faster. So, to get her about a decent speed, you need to can turn the controller quite a bit. I mean, that's still pretty slow. You need to... I mean, there's quite a good speed, and that's quite, you know, far on the controller. As you can see, it's, you know, 2 o'clock or something, so... It's not a great motor, I have to say, but it also makes a bit of a rumbling noise, but that's probably because she hasn't been ran in at all. So uh, we, I think we can accept that. Let's just move that. 
Um, so let's get some good shots of her then. Now, I think we should get a girl a bit faster and see what she can really do, since she's a bullet train after all, so let's open the taps and see what she can do. Now, bearing in mind she has got only one coach, so uh, let's just have a look. Now, the motor starts to make a bit more of a you know, louder rumbling noise when you make it go faster. You can really hear that motor working away. But she's got a bit more. It's only there. Now, I don't want to risk her going any faster. But, slow her down a bit. That is quite a good speed, you know. For a railroad model, she's got, you know, not a bad motor. Now, as you can see, the lights on the front there. But we haven't got tail lights. There we go. There's no tail lights on there. We've only got blue LEDs on the front. So I'm going to put the other coach on and show you what she's like with uh, the next load. So here she is with uh, four cars now as opposed to the three that you get in the set. So uh, let's see what she can do now then. Give her a bit of power. And she stopped because the track is very dirty. Or maybe just that she hasn't started. Nope, there we go. Forgot that she doesn't start until about there. So, let's get her going at a decent speed. So yeah, as you can see, it does look a lot better with four cars. So there we go, the blue rapier set from Bondi. Pretty cheap model, you know, not that detailed, it's not great on the detail side, but you know, once she's running, you really can't tell she's running. So, if you're starting off, or even if you're, you know, really into your model railroads, I think, you know, you need one of these, unless you have enough money to buy the proper Hitachi Javelin of course because then that is an exquisite model so there we go the blue rapier set from Hobbit.